to see that patient. Only because she was waiting and Brooke wasn't here. You know how I feel about Brooke. She shafted me and you keep doing her favours. Sarah is official. She said yes to a part-time GP position in the PCC. Brooke and I think it's best for everyone if you remain in the ED. I'm offering you a permanent position, TK. Congratulations. that if we don't do it now, we won't do it at all. I mean, look at it. Gorgeous, desirable you is marrying me. Let's just hold hands, Gerald. I'd probably change my mind too if I were you. Come on, you can just say it. Let's go get married. What? I said let's go get married. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we can find some witnesses, I think... Oh, we'll just ask the two happiest looking people on the street. <laughs> we can make a stranger's day. <gasps> I can't believe we're doing this. Oh. I officially ban anyone who loves you to set foot in the IV. Don't ask me why. What's going on? We're getting married right now. And you're coming? You can be witness number one? What? In those clothes? I mean, where? Oh, at a registry office. And people do, you know. It's not about the clothes, it's about... It's about the photos that your poor children are going to look at one day and think, oh, my parents had no style. Lib? Whose idea was this? But mine? Why? Yes. Well, of course it was. No girl who ever played weddings would ever agree to this. Honestly, I think it could be... Are you trying to tell me you didn't play the game? My friend Margaret Baxter had a communion dress we used, but... She always made me be the boy. Oh, which is exactly why you need to do the real thing. Instead of some no-frills version, which is about as romantic as taking out a library book. Well, it's too late, actually. I've already cancelled the wedding venue. Find me the number. A nice, manageable workload is just what I need, with some real people, not just facts and figures. And I'd like to be able to help as many people as I can before I get to the worst stage, you know, with the MS, or worse than worse. I do actually think this could work out well for both of us. Okay, answer me this. Which do you hate more, Brooke Freeman or the emergency department? The photo finish, right? I can tell you from experience that you will grow to love the emergency department. You just need more time to cook. But Brooke Freeman, you will never love. So just keep out of the PCC and keep happy. Yeah. You can spin as much as you like, but you know what really happened today? You stole my job. That's not fair. You knew I wanted to go back and you shut the door, slammed it. Ever since I got to the PCC, I had one objective, to become a fully qualified GP. You know that. You've seen me do the hard yards, and then you go behind my back because you're bored to get the research already. Well? I'm sorry. I'll talk to Brooke. I won't sign the contract. Oh, don't get any way for me. The physio has been to see Mr Menzies, your laminate. Good. How are his muscle spasms? Um, I'm sorry, Gabrielle, but you're not going to like this. Um... No, your perfume is acceptable today. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's not that. It's my nephew. He's sick and I have to collect him from daycare. But I've talked to Scotty and he's going to sort out a replacement for your next case. But you're a nurse. You know children get sick. How could you fail to have a contingency plan? Yes, I'm a nurse. Not a mother. Not used to doing both. This will all settle down when Maya's back. Which is any day now, right? I don't know yet. But why isn't her son with her? She could have saved all of us these problems. Maya thought it would be better for JJ to stay in his routine. You understand that? Routine, same thing, day in, day out. You like that, don't you? Yes. Look, I am sorry, and I will sort this before my next shift. No, don't bother, I'll ask God if someone reliable instead. Maybe you could find yourself a robot. Maybe that'd help. Mr Menzies is still having those muscle spasms. Can we please go take a look at him? Yes, of course. Don't worry, he'll be there. OK, thanks, bye. I wish you hadn't told them I cancelled because I got cold feet. They'll be watching me on the day, expecting me to bolt. How about, thank you, Libby, without you, we would have made a terrible mistake. You're right, thank you, Libby. Childcare emergency. Looks like my good deeds for the day aren't over. Now, there's a copy of Bride and Bridesmaid on my bed. Have a look. I'm sorry. It was just that when she reminded me about playing weddings, I, I did kind of want my turn on the dress. It's only four more sleeps. I can wait.
<laughs> There's no points for speed. I thought you were into me. I am, but I've rushed things with guys before, and I'd rather we took our time. That can be fun too, you know. I guess. Right, not fun enough to stick around for, though. I'll call you later, okay? Hey. Hey. What was that face for? Has he gone burgers already? No, he's just sulking because we stayed upright. Did you learn self-control since this morning? Nice. Even my own brother thinks I'm a sure thing. You can hold out for as long as you like, okay? The last thing I need is to slap it for his sister. I just thought you were keen on the guy. He is a nice guy. Nice. Say it with feeling, Sophie. Otherwise, it seems like you're keeping your options open. Is that it? Is what's his name keeping the seat warm for someone else? Daniel Potts, maybe. Daniel Potts is so not a part of this conversation, and he has major issues, like I need that. You're right, like you've never been a sucker for the complicated ones, have you? <laughs> I was on my way, but Callum needed notes for a last minute meeting and I had to go back to work. You know what? At least someone's scoring brownie points or I'm getting black marks. Well, Gabriel was being unfair. JJ needed you. Yeah, he did. Well, you were too busy playing wedding planner. I didn't get your text until after I was finished with those two. The couple most likely to divorce. I've decided what Gerald and Morgan have is true romance. I give them six months, tops. Well, I give them my full support. <sighs> so does this mean I have to take more time off work or what? I could mind him tomorrow night and tomorrow afternoon, but that's only if he's not well enough to go back to daycare. <sighs> Thank you. You know, you really should book yourself in for a massage. You're starting to look like you're raising six kids on your own. Thanks, Lou. But you do realise that it's only if nothing comes up at work, which it so often does at my job. So you'll have to start thinking about a contingency plan. You are the contingency plan. Ah, excellent timing. I've just been having a look at the most recent throughput figures for the ED. Interested in taking a look? Uh, not really. Not if I don't want to work in ED. <sighs> What's Kip done now? He hasn't done anything. Look, I'm a GP. That's what I've trained for. That's what I'm good at. Please. I don't doubt that, TK. Then why did you boot me out of the PCC? You know why. I can live with Brooke. I'm a professional. Mate, you bag her every chance you get. That's not going to happen again. I'm very pleased to hear that. But your job there no longer exists. Sarah's only doing part-time. How's it going to fill a whole position? Brooke and I have discussed the roster, and we both feel there is adequate coverage. It's called communication, TK. Something you might want to look at so you can avoid situations like this. I communicated to you. I got the impression from Brooke that you... Brooke has deliberately managed me out of there. If you can't see that, then you're blind. There you go again. You're bagging her again, mate. You don't even know you're doing it. <sighs> All right, can we at least discuss a return to the PCC at some point in the future? Why don't you give ED your best shot first? Yeah? Kip is new to the HOD role and he needs the best team he can get backing him all the way. Let's look at this at an opportunity gain, shall we? For both you and Sarah. Given her MS, ED is too hard for her. PCC, not so much. Shouldn't you be at least happy that she's got an outlet for what she does yeah, so very okay. well? I saw you in the cafeteria yesterday with a piece of that scrummy carrot cake. How was it? Actually, I couldn't eat much of it. Are you off your food? Unless hospital gossip bypasses you completely, you might be able to guess why. I understand you're going through a difficult time, yes. Do you think Morgan should be allowed to keep my babies? Well, I'd rather hear about how you're coping with such a difficult situation. I'm not. I can barely get through the day. I mean, I'm more tired than I've ever been, but I still can't sleep. The thoughts are too loud. Will I ever hold my babies, see them grow, hear them call me mum? Have you spoken to anyone else about this? I've been to see a counsellor. She's good to talk to, but I still think I'm getting worse. The thoughts I'm having truly scare me. I suppose you're familiar with fluoxetine. It's an antidepressant. My counsellor suggested the same thing. Yeah, I think we should try you on that. It can take a while to really kick in, but your mood should gradually start to lift. Anything would be better than this. And I think you should continue with the counselling. You need all the support you can get right now. 
Thank you. No one goes to the movies in the morning session. We'll have plenty of privacy. I guess. Are you even listening? Oh, the old's like getting on each other's nerves, and mine. Will they be home this afternoon? No. Why? I bet I could help you relax. Or not? Oh, I, I bet you could too. Let's get out of here. I don't like the view anymore. If she thinks she can trust him, she's crazy. He's a liar who gets kicks out of trashing people, like he did with you. I bet he's figuring out a way to do exactly the same to her. How'd he get so messed up? Why do you care? I don't, about him. It's her I'm worried about. Forget them. What are you doing tonight? Depends on what's on offer. We could take my car up to Ferndale Heights. And what, read poetry to each other? I'm beginning to wonder if you want to take things slow or, like, stop altogether. Of course not. It's just you need to respect what I said yesterday. Just take it easy. I'll try. We immortals would say that it couldn't be done, but I think we can do the cake, the wedding dress, and the flowers in one afternoon. Well, can you just remember that we are on a super tight budget? And I'm not exactly up for a marathon right now, either. Oh, I'll be doing all the running. You can just take it easy. Squeezing this bump into lots of frilly frocks doesn't sound like taking it easy. Frills? Huh? Not if I've got anything to do with it. Are you wishing we'd done the quickie at the registry office? If you think being married is going to make you look better in a court, then you are wrong. You will still be lying monsters. Any decent person is going to see that. Gerald and Morgan's wedding plans don't concern you. How can you defend these people? Thanks to them, I'm on pills to stop me losing my mind completely. What pills? These ones. Fluoxetine. Morgan will tell you they're for saddos that can't get it together. Do you want to have a look at my medical records too while you're at it? Cindy, you know we never meant to hurt you. If you take these babies from me, no pills will be enough to keep me sane. And now my lovely assistant will give you a tennis shot. Thank you. It is one of my best tricks, I Thank promise. You. So, are you going to be riding shotgun for the long term? Yeah. Then my friend makes us ED's answer to Batman and Robin. Or, um, if you don't like the tights, then, um, the Lone Ranger and Tonto of Trauma. Or, uh, the Han Solo and Chewie. Yeah, I'd pick another psychic if I were you. Really? But you'd make a great Chewie. <laughs> This isn't where I want to be, and you know it. Look, you've had a tough week. We all have them, but you get back on the horse just like Tonto was. It's not about that, OK? I told you ED is not the right fit for me. Oh, well, the PCC and Brooke weren't rocking your world either. So you get stuck in here, make it the right fit, you'll be a better doctor for Don't it. waste your time selling it to me, OK? Kelly's made it clear it's not up for debate. Look, um, see if you can knock this chip off his shoulder, will you? I've given it my best shot. I'm sorry, this isn't I'm getting used to the idea slowly. I know it doesn't always pay to stay in your comfort zone. There, looks you're done, OK? And let's face it, when I come home banging on about tinnitus and athlete's foot, you'll count yourself lucky. I'll uh, buy some earplugs now. <laughs> you'll find your inner adrenaline junkie. I just know it. This place is addictive. You just haven't had the hit yet, but when you do... Ooh. See you later. Dreams just waiting to come true for our pregnant brides. Thank you. We'll let you know if we need any help. Oh. I can only hire a dress. All these dresses are for sale. Well, trying them on will help you find the right style. The right style is cheap and shaped like a family tent. I could buy three family tents for that price. Economising is all very well, but you have to remember the dress is the centrepiece of every wedding. Even when it has to cost 300 or less? Well, we'll just have to tip Gerald upside down and shake some more coins out of his pockets. How about a classic empire line bodice? Hmm. What a cutie. Oh. No arguments from his proud auntie. This is JJ. 
Yeah, we're just spending some quality time on Mummy's away, eh? How can she bear to be away from him? Maya just needed some time out. He'd usually be at daycare, but we think he got a bit of a cold, don't we, darling? Are you sure it's a cold? I mean, it could be something more serious, like an ear infection or meningitis. I'm pretty sure it's just a cold. Has he got a temperature? <laughs> How's he been eating and sleeping? Who's seen him, his GP? Really? It's just a cold. They pick up bugs so easily at daycare. Should he even be at daycare at his age? There's a lot of research that says a child is far better off if they're with a one-on-one -on -one caregiver for at least the first two years of life. When I get my babies back, I will be spending every second with them that I can. Good for you. I've got some books on the subject. I could bring them around for Maya to read. Mm -hmm. See the sweet darling again. Maya's probably got enough working mum's guilt as it is. Thank you, though. Sorry. I'll let you get him home. See ya. Bye. Just perfect. Oh, just wait until Gerald sees you in this. But he's not going to. This would take her entire budget to buy it and then some. Morgan, you only get married once. Well, hopefully anyway. The point is this is your important day and everyone will be taking photos that last forever. Now how about an overdraft? Oh, if I can't pay for it now then I can't have it. Well, you'll never find anything that perfect in a hire shop. We should have just gone to the registry office after all. This is way worse than playing weddings with Margaret Baxter. I thought you were here to help me. I am helping. This is like putting a diabetic in a sweet shop, and you know it. Now, are you going to help me find a dress that I can afford or not? I suppose we have time. Just. You two are very quiet. The shopping trip go well? Mm-hmm. Morgan's not exactly the blushing bride to be, though, is she? Is the dress okay? Look, it's it's fine. It's just not as nice as the other one we tried on, which slightly exceeds your budget. How much is slightly? Twelve hundred dollars more. Saying it faster doesn't make it cheaper, Libby. No, it's Libby. just the bodice. No, so stop right fine. there. Fine, I'll go see what Morgan looks. How do I look? Morgan, you can't come out. The groom has seen you. Now you can't wear it. I don't care about that. Well? Gorgeous. As if you could be anything else. Well, you've got the old part covered anyway. It's true, and the something borrowed part as well. <laughs> now that's what I call value for money. Well, I just can't believe that I get to walk down the aisle with such a vision of loveliness. The guy in the movie looked like a pretty hot kisser, but not as good as you. Would you rather we went to your room? We can stay here. Like I said, the olds are at work. Whoa! Um, I promise you, my mother radar really is not that good. My clinic got rescheduled. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts is my mother. Please, just call me Sarah. <laughs> I'll call you later. No, really, I can make myself scarce. It's no problem yeah. at all. Later. She could have stayed. I know that you and Chelsea like each other and that you're going to make out. Not if you're going to appear in the middle of it. TK and I would be fine if you and Chelsea want to spend some time alone. Either in your room or in the sleep out, you know, wherever you're more comfortable. I'll do what I want. I don't need your say so. I'm just letting you know, as long as you're safe, I am totally fine with you being sexually active. Did I ask? Okay, okay I'm backing off. But just one more thing condoms. Have you got a good supply? None of your business. If you want to talk to TK, I totally understand. Doubt it. Just drop it. Okay. Can you still come over this, Avo? Look, I still have a lot to get through, so... Tough! Hey, okay, I've taken enough time off as it is and I can't find anyone else, so you're it. OK, but I've got one last thing to do before I get there. Oh, be quick, OK? I don't need to be late on top of everything else. I said OK. See you soon. Bye.
Finally, your Auntie Libby is taking responsibility and she's coming over to play. Well, right now, your Auntie Tanya needs to go and have a really quick shower before she goes to work, okay? No. Okay? No, in here. Right. Look after Mr. TD. Maybe I could buy some tulle and an Alice band and make something similar. Do you hate your dress? Because when you were trying it on, you didn't exactly look like the, the girl whose childhood fantasies were coming true. No, the dress is fine, really. I'm, I'm just a bit tired today. Maybe I should get my iron stores checked soon. Oh, well, that's your preggy tea with the nettle in it. There's lots of iron in there. Oh, look, you're worried about Cindy, aren't you? It's not your fault that she flipped out. Oh, and look, I know how much you care about her. Oh, I'm trying not to think about it, actually. I want this to be a happy time for babies, for you and me. Mom. Did anyone miss me? Look, we will make it a happy time, Morgan. I said, did anyone miss me? Ta-da! Is that what I think it is? Are you deliberately torturing me? I told you I can't buy the dress. Well, you don't have to, because thanks to me, the shop owner has agreed to loan it free of charge. Why would she do that? In exchange for you and your beautiful bump modelling the dress. Really? You haven't secretly paid for it or anything like that? No, it's a done deal. Oh, did you hear that? I did. <gasps> what do I have to do exactly? Well, photos. That's all. And a big smile and you'll be the poster girl on their website. Oh, hold on. What website? Their website. I'll go try it on for you now. Uh, no, don't. I'll take it back. Well, you can't do the deal. Why not? Why not? Because there, there would be like inviting Cindy and Trent to go public too. As in how my best friend stole my babies and got free deals. Oh, Gerald, I think you're overreacting. there are enough people who are anti this already. If, if you do this and Cindy finds out, then everyone will be against us. JJ? Monkey? Oh, I don't have time for hide and seek. No. 